All Nintendo video games are rated by the Entertainment Software Ratings Board and carry one of the following age-appropriate ratings. For additional information on game ratings, visit the ESRB at ESRB.com. Want some great entertainment this holiday? Head on down to Toys R Us. While you're there, you can check out the great new games coming from Nintendo. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the N64 is coming October 26th. Some consider it a sequel to the greatest video game ever. Others claim that it's much better than the original. Let's talk with the experts at Nintendo. Well, being a sequel to the best video game of all time wouldn't be a bad thing with itself. But at the same time, the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is much more than a sequel. In fact, you could label it as a sequel, but then you'd have to take everything you know about sequels and throw it out the window. When you first start the game, you're riding through the forest on horseback, and then you, you come across a skull kid. Your horse rears up, and you fall off, and when you're knocked out, the kid actually comes up and takes your ocarina, and he also steals your horse, and that's kind of what starts it off. You've got 72 hours to save the Earth. Link has to unravel the mystery of Majora's Mask within 72 hours, or else the moon will crash into the Earth. And if you can't solve the mystery within 72 hours, game over. There's 24 different masks in this game. If you take the Goron mask and you put it on, then you have the ability to turn into a Goron. You actually see him go through a transformation, uh, and then he's a Goron, and you're able to do things you weren't normally able to do. You turn into a rolling Goron, and that's the only way to cross some parts of the game. If you get a Zora mask, instead of just kind of swimming on top of the water, you can actually put the Zora mask on and you have the ability to walk underwater. Uh, you can swim extremely fast underwater. Uh, so there's a whole bunch to do under the water. There's, there's entire levels that take place underwater. And the only way you can do it is a Zora mask. And it's really, it's pretty graceful to watch him you know, kind of skim over the surface of the water. One of the things that makes the game really cool is that the whole time the clock is ticking. The moon is getting closer, and you're not going to stop any of that. You have so many things that you have to accomplish to stop this moon from falling. If you mess up even the least little bit on a couple of these things. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask requires the expansion pack to work. This game uses the expansion pack in a way that a lot of games haven't really used it yet. The bosses are more detailed. They'll have a higher polygon count. Uh, one boss in particular, the jungle boss, one of the first bosses you fight, if you start beating him, then he calls six bugs to the rescue, and so you have that many more things on the screen. We hit him a couple more times, then he releases about 300 butterflies in the air that will attack you. It's, it's really incredible to see all that on the screen. Everybody's going to love this game. Miyamoto is known for redefining the way games are supposed to be played, and this one's no exception. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, your link, and the world is waiting on you. Reserve your copy now at Toys R Us with a $10 deposit, and you'll be guaranteed to get a collector's edition gold cartridge with this unique 3D label. If you reserve your copy prior to October 25th, you'll also get $10 off this Toys R Us exclusive gold controller, regularly priced at $29.99, now just $19.99 with this offer. Think that's it? Think again. Check out the sequel to the platinum bestseller Banjo-Kazooie. It's Banjo-Tooie for the N64, coming November 21st. It's an extension of an already great game. First off, you're given all of the old moves that you had before, and being Banjo-Tooie, there's going to be more moves, larger environments, better graphics. One of the coolest new team moves they have is a level where Banjo whips her out like a shotgun and it goes immediately into first person view and that's how you do the entire level. In the first game, you could shoot blue eggs. Uh, in two, you have all these different color eggs. The, the humor is definitely carrying over uh, from the first game. Banjo 2 has definitely given me everything that I've ever expected.